So fourth, first of all, is the spinal working group. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion about orthopedic working group, but then at the end we decided to have two working groups. One that is dedicated in a way to this discussion about management of uh, uh, spinal deformities and spinal surgery, and one that is orthopedic that is more dedicated on management of, for example, long bone fracture. And because the team are really different, we have a two separate working group. For the spinal working group, we have identified the lead that is Thanos de Riscos that uh, work in Edinburgh and has demonstrated a very great interest in, in the project and has a lot of experience in terms also management of a patient with shell muscle dystrophy and uh, spinal surgery. We have some uh, identified some potential uh, collaborator on the working group. So I think that this is really an open uh, request to everyone who think that they have in their center a spinal surgeon who could be interested in uh, uh, contribute to this piece of work to please get in touch with us because we are still really uh, reaching out uh, to have a good comprehensive, I think, cover. And I think that is important because the approach in terms of spinal surgery can be very different from one side to another in terms of uh, uh, um, surgery indication surgery approach, but also in terms of uh, how many cases they treat per year. So we really are here at the point to ask for uh, um, uh, interest. There have been a little bit a very, very early discussion, but probably the first point of the discussion about the spinal uh, working group is really that there are really little evidences of where do we stand now. So before even developing guidance and recommendation, there is a piece of work that needs to be done in terms of uh, what do we know so far, and specifically about uh, what is the frequency now of uh, uh, spinal surgery, what is the indication, uh, do we have an agreed um, uh, um, procedure in terms of when spinal surgery should go ahead, at which, uh, at which stage, what is the link between the spinal surgery and the different corticosteroid type and regimen, um, and what are the potential, uh, so do, what do we know about the outcomes in terms of uh, intervention or non-intervention or later intervention or early intervention? And it's really try to bring together, as a, for any other working group, spinal surgery as well as a neuromuscular specialist, uh, patient representatives, and potentially also a, a bone expert to really try to provide some guidelines for that point of view. In terms of the orthopedic working group, we have uh, we have an established working group that is led by Philip Henman, who was uh, here yesterday and is an orthopedic surgeon from Newcastle. We have identified uh, the other collaborators as part of the working group, but we also realized yesterday that some areas are not covered specifically for this working group London, so we'll have uh, some additional thought about this. Uh, we have yesterday a little bit of discussion about what will be the remit of the orthopedic working group and will be focused really on the developing, obviously, of the general guidance in terms of specifically management of long bone fracture. But for this perspective, we, we know already that the guidance will also need to have some information about the emergency management, so the acute management but also about the referral pathway rehabilitation and a very strong connection between the pediatric and the adult service because a patient might be seen in the pediatric neuromuscular but be referred to the adult uh, um, surgeon for uh, intervention around the age of 16 and 18. The professional body that uh, will be involved has already been identified. There have been also a plan in terms of dissemination and seems to be a, a situation where there is already a, a quite strong existing network. So hopefully the guidance will have an immediate impact. But also from the discussion yesterday it was also clear that probably as a spin-off, let's say, of this working group and the spinal working group, we might need to create an independent anesthesia working group that is really information about how do we manage anesthetics in patients with DMD, with input obviously from uh, uh, anesthetists, but also from a cardiology and a respiratory uh, consultants. I cannot avoid to say that uh, we are thinking about the steroid working group has been a little bit neglected over the last two days, but I think that some information about what do we do with corticosteroid are critical. There is a steroid working group that is led by myself and that these are the other members and most of them are uh, in, in, in this room. Um, 
Oh, but we always thought that in terms of corticosteroid is the input from the larger network of the North Star is a critical. So we are having this afternoon a meeting with the, within the North Star that will be focused on corticosteroid. 